Hey guys, and here we are back with another one. Now, a few weeks ago, we took a look at the Terramaster D5300, which is right over there. Uh, but I'll post a better image on screen and also post a link somewhere around over here, just in case you want to check that out and make some comparisons uh, with the machine that we are going to take a look today, which is the Terramaster D2. 310. Now this is a dual bay uh, direct storage solution and as a spoiler alert on this particular video it has everything that I personally need on a direct storage solution. Now that being said guys let's go straight for the video hope that you enjoy it and as always I'll see you in a few seconds. And here we are with the Terra Master D2 310, a dual bay dash unit capable of using 3.5 or 2.5 inch hard drives or SSDs. And regarding our usual and quick unboxing experience, once we open the package, we'll find the Terra Master D2 310 on the top and a small box with all the accessories that includes a power adapter and a UK adapter for the European version, one USB Type C to USB Type C cable, one USB Type C to USB Type A cable, one small screwdriver, a pin similar to a SIM card tool, and a few screws. And we will also find the instructions on the side of the unit, but I did remove them as soon as I could. Now the D2 310 is made of an aluminium unibody that feels really nice and solid to the touch. It's one single piece of metal that makes this device look great, on my opinion of course. It also has silver plastic bezels at the back and on the front, but overall I really like the design of it. And taking a closer look at the front, it has two hard drive bays along with the power button and the power and activity LEDs. On both sides the Terra Master logo. At the back one silent 80mm fan along with the power input jack, the USB Type-C connector, RAID selector and the reset switch. And finally at the bottom 4 rubber feet and some vents. And during my test I will be using several discs, which I'll share the results in just a few seconds, but in terms of setup it's pretty easy. All we need to do is to remove the hard drive base, screw the drives in place with the screws, place the drives back in place and that's it. Then we can connect the USB and power cable to the unit, turn it on, select the RAID mode, press the reset switch and there we go, we can start using the D2310. And regarding these speed tests, I used several discs and you may pause the video to check out better the details, but what I can say is that the unit will not be a bottleneck, as I could achieve the maximum speed of the SSD which is roughly 420 megabytes on reads using a USB 3.0 connection. Now I also used the MacBook with a native USB Type-C port and the result was exactly the same, which leads me to think uh, that with a different SSD or RAID 0 on SSDs, we could achieve a little bit more. And before we move on to the conclusion, one very important aspect to me on any unit is the silence or lack of it. And I'm really happy to say that the D2310 is a really quiet machine. During operation, all we hear are the drives and when we don't use it, it will go to sleep, which is great. The only thing that remains active is the fan, but I cannot hear at all, so it's all good. And once we need it again, it will wake uh, as soon as we use it. So in conclusion guys, things that I did like the most were the build quality and design of the D2 310, silent while on operation and totally silent when at sleep, great read and write speeds and easy to set up and use. On the other hand, things that I did like the least were just one, which are the screws to hold the drives. I would really like to see a more user-friendly system as we have seen on the past. And that is it, we have reached the end of another review, this time the Terra Master D2 310 Dash Unit. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.